another day and another model from china quen 3 has just released another thinking model and it has again as is the norm has surpassed the rest of the lot by miles and i think this time quen and alibaba might have legitimately cooked the proprietary llm shops all over the place most api providers are serving 30 billion a3b model at from 30 to 45 cents per million tokens at the moment. Meanwhile, Gemini 2.5 Flash or OpenAI's O3 Mini and Anthropics Cloud Hyco all are costing 5 to 10 times more that price despite having similar performance. I think that these labs are in huge trouble due to this new Quen3 family. I will even go one step further. Quen team is showing China might have legitimately cooked all of these proprietary LLM shops before even we go to the second quarter of this 2025 and beyond. Google is definitely doing astounding work across the board. OpenAI has already broken the dam open on this whole LLM thing, we all know that and NVIDIA still dominates the hardware middleware landscape. But 2025, as we stand now, I think this story of AI in every aspect is Chinese AI at the moment, and there is no denying it. And I'm not fluffing it or hyping it. This is the reality. Just look at my channel or any other channel, and you will see it's all about Chinese models from various Chinese companies and tooling and all of them are good. For instance, this new model, Quen3 30 billion with thinking, I think this is one of the best, if not the best thinking I have seen in this sub 30 billion model. This new model is again a causal language model designed to excel in complex reasoning tasks. It builds upon the foundational architecture of A3B 30 billion, which we covered yesterday, we installed it locally and we tested it out on various benchmarks and same we are going to do with this thinking model we are going to test it out now we saw yesterday that this 30 billion mixture of expert model was one of the best and i think the best 30 billion mixture of expert model out there at the moment by any company this thinking model also has a total of 30.5 billion parameters with 3.3 billion actively utilized during inference. Its non-embedding parameter count stands at around 29.9 <clears throat> billion, which indicates a focus on optimizing computational efficiency while maintaining robust performance. And this tells you a huge thing which China is focusing on. Due to the tariffs and ban on chips, they are focusing on this computational and memory efficiency. They are still trying to build quality models, yet at the same time, they are trying their best to make sure that models use less resources. This design choice helps balance computational load and attention span effectively. In the mixture of expert layer, they have 128 experts, of which 8 are activated during inference. Now, I already have showed you how to install this model, so if you are looking to install it locally, just follow this video exactly the same just change the model name i'm going to test it out in quen's platform so at the top left just select the 30 billion a3 model switch on the thinking flag and maybe i will start with this prompt to create a self-contained html file using p5.js that features <clears throat> a colorful animated rocket is zooming dynamically across the screen and there are a few other tidbits which i wanted to do now, I have seen this model thinking for an hour or maybe more. So you see the thinking has started and I'm just going to scroll down. You see it is producing, it is understanding it, and then it is going through step by step. And this model is tailored to support advanced reasoning and general purpose tasks, but the deep research ones. Each of its 48 layers include a transformer block with a GQA attention mechanism where the separation of query heads from key value heads allows for more 
efficient memory consumption. The model's training process is also shared and it involves both pre-training and both pre, uh, post-training phases which contribute to robustness and versatility. While it produces that, let me also tell you a bit more about it. And even before that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows in automated tasks. So please do check them out. And it is still thinking. I will just let it think and then we will check it out. Meanwhile, let's talk about a bit of its benchmarking information. So as you can see that it has already shown superior capabilities compared to other models in its class. If you look at this chart, it has scored 73.4 on GPQA and it has even performed its non-thinking model plus Gemini 2.5 flash. So for general purpose question answering task, it performs quite well. And for me, the best benchmark in this whole chart is Amy 25 because it tells you an exceptional ability in solving advanced mathematical problems and coding tasks, also the reasoning ones. And this is where it has really, really performed quite well, as you can see. And the score is very, very decent. Okay, let's wait for the other one to finish. And there you go, it has produced the code after thinking for around 30 minutes and it has really understood the problem. It has slices and diced it and it has followed the whole chain of thought to produce this result. So let me show you, this is what I it has created and I have opened it in the browser. I am clicking on the screen as you can see the animation looks quite good. Even the rocket itself is producing fireworks. It is zipping across the screen. There you go. So it has followed the prompt to the hilt. And that is what I really like about this Quen model. Amazing stuff. And this is the first attempt. And the result is really astounding. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's try out a multilingual one. Okay, in the multilingual test, what I'm testing here is that a French speaking tourist Sophie visits an Indian restaurant in London. She asks a waiter something in French that what are the most popular veg dishes and then waiter replies in French and then Sophie replies something else. And then I'm asking the model that how would you as a waiter respond to Sophie? taking into account cultural nuances and language is different. And then there are a few conditions which it should meet. So there you go. It is doing the thinking. And if you look at the thinking, the thinking is actually quite profound. It, but this time, oh wow, as I was just looking at it, it has completed. So for really a weird reason, it has finished quite quickly this time instead of 30 minutes, which is always a welcome sign. And this is a response in French and then it has explained it. So if you are a French speaker, please, please let me know. I will also quickly check it at the Google Translate. And the Google Translate tells me that it is correct, but I will take uh, your advice on this. I think this has pro produced a very good response. Very nice. Now in the final prompt, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it with a very long, very deep prompt. So if you look at it, what I'm doing here, I'm asking it that you are an autonomous reasoning engine simulating a procedurally generated self consistent fantasy universe with persistent physics, causality and emergent narrative logic. And the task is to generate and maintain this world in real time, responding to users actions with deep causal reasoning, long-term memory and emergent complexity. So I'm asking it to implement this whole system in one HTML file using JavaScript, cascading style sheet and embedded SVG or canvas. Even if it does half of it, I'll be happy. So I'm explaining the core system and then, you know, advanced causal agent. Then we are going towards self-reflection layer, the thinking test. And then there are a few constraints and requirements like I have just given it few of the prompt. Then 
I'm also guiding it to, to the final prompt. So this primarily is testing its narrative, multi-agent simulation, self-explanation, and long context usage. It is thinking, it is going to review this code, take, it is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait and then we will check it out. And it has come back, it has produced all of this code, but it has commented out most of the features and it hasn't implemented the JavaScript. So I think it has created sort of a structure, but didn't really do it. So if I open it here, you see all the structure is there. But when I click on this stuff, the features which I asked it to do, it didn't create it. So maybe we would need to make our prompt better or maybe we would ask it to do, but it already has taken a long time. So I'm not going to go into that. We already have checked its coding capabilities are quite good. So I believe in one prompt, it might not be able to do a full project as we just saw. But it can create a mock and then we can implement different components out of it but look i think quen is doing wonderfully well in the last just one week we have seen multitudes of models from them and every model is quite good in its own class a lot of room for improvement always there is but i think in open source race chinese companies are really galloping let me know what do you think Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.